Hi. My name is Pu Song Ling. I am a writer from the Qin Dynasty in China. Today, I want to tell you a real story based on my witness. When I was a kid, I happened to go to the capital city Jinan to attend an examination held by the government, and it was around the time of the Chinese New Year. According to the local custom, on the day before the New Year, all the various guilds of merchants would put up their colorful pavilions and play musical instruments like gongs and drums, walking all the way to the capital hall. We call it, the performance of spring. Of course, I went on the streets with my friends to look around and have some fun there. On that day, there was a wall of sightseers in the capital hall, and there were four officials wearing red robes sitting on a dais in the lobby face to face on the west and east side. Since I was still a kid, I didn't know what their official positions were. All I could hear was a cacophony of voices and the deafening drums and music going on. Suddenly, there was a man leading a boy with disheveled long hair, carrying a pole on his shoulder, walking up to the stage. It seemed he was saying something, but I couldn't hear at all from the noise. I just saw the officials <laughs> laughing. And immediately afterwards, a man dressed in black promptly showed up and delivered a message loudly, you are allowed to perform. The man stood up from his kneeling position and said, Yes, sir. But what kind of performance do you want to see? I saw the officials confer with each other for a while and sent a clerk down the dais to ask him what tricks he was good at. And the man said he could invert the order of nature. The clerk returned and reported, Soon he came back and told the performer, the show will be getting a peach. The man nodded and said okay. Then he took off his clothes and laid them on his bamboo box and started his show. He deliberately pretended to be complaining and said, The request is really unreasonable, the ice hasn't thawed yet, where am I supposed to get the peach? But if I don't get it, I'm afraid the officials will be angry, what should I do? The boy who came together with him said, Dad, you have already promised them. You can't take your words back. We need to get a peach anyway. The man was sunk in gloom for quite a while, then he said, I've thought it all through, it's still early spring, and the frost and snow haven't thawed yet. Where could I find a peach in this world? Only in the peach garden of Wang Munyang Yang, the four seasons there are like spring, flowers are never withered, and maybe there will be peaches. However, you will be the one who goes to heaven to pinch the peach. Who is Wang Munyang Yang? She is the Queen of the West, the most powerful Taoist goddess in Chinese mythology living in heaven. His son asked, Hey! Are there stairs to heaven so I can get up there? The father said, I have my own way. Upon that he opened his bamboo box and took out a coil of cord several hundred feet long. He picked one end of the cord and cast it up into the air, and the cord dangled in midair as if it was hanging on something. Then the cord kept going up higher and higher until the end of the cord was up in the clouds and only a short part was left in his hands. He called the boy and said, Come here, son. I am too old and too clumsy to go, it would be better if you could go instead. Just grab this cord and climb up. Then he handed the end of the cord to his son, 
but the boy with a look of disinclination grumbled, the old man is so addle-brained. Such a flimsy cord. How could I climb thousands of feet up with it safely to heaven? If the cord snaps halfway there, I will fall and be shattered to pieces to the ground for sure. The father coaxed him that, I have already promised the officials, and it's too late to regret it, so I'll leave it to you. Don't be afraid of hardship, if you can steal the peach, we would definitely get a hundred ounces of gold as a reward, then I will surely find a beautiful wife for you. So, the son finally grabbed the cord and started to climb, his feet moved up with his hands, swarming up like a spider walking on its thread. Soon, the boy was out of sight in the clouds. After a long time, a peach fell from the sky, as big as a bowl. The father was very happy, he handed the peach to the officials immediately. The officials passed it on and checked it for a good while, but they couldn't tell whether it was real or not. Suddenly, the cord fell from the sky, the father cried out in panic, Damn it! Someone up there cut the cord in the sky, how could my son come back? After a while, something else fell, and at first glance, it turned out to be his son's head. The father held the head and sobbed, he said, the murderer must be the guardian of the garden who caught my son when he was stealing the peach. Alas! My son was gone. Upon that, another foot fell from the sky, and after a while, his son's limbs and torso all fell from the sky. The father was so sad. He picked up every piece, put them in the bamboo box, and lit it. He said, I only have that one son who accompanied me everywhere. Today I just obeyed the official's orders, I didn't expect such a tragedy would happen to my son, I had to carry him back for burial. He approached the officials, knelt down and said, Gentlemen. My son died for the peach, Please pity me and help me to pay for his funeral expenses. Even if I die, I will repay for all your kindness. The officials who had been watching the whole scene in horror and amazement all collected a good purse for him. He took the money and wrapped it at his waist, walked down from the dais, slapped the box with his hands and said, Hurry up my boy. What are you waiting for? Come out to thank every gentleman. Suddenly, a disheveled hair child pushed open the lid of the box with the top of his head and jumped out of the box, that's his son with an intact body. The boy knelt down and kowtowed to the officials. Because the trick was so amazing, I still remember it to this day. Later I heard that the believer of the White Lotus sect could perform this trick. I wonder if the father and the son were their descendants. This is today's story. Do you like it? Magic is very common in modern life now, but not so common in ancient times, they usually call it juggling. The fantastic story told people, seeing is not necessarily believing. When the audience believed that the boy was dead, they couldn't help having compassion for him, but when the boy jumped out from the box, would they get mad because they found out that they have been deceived, or would they be glad that the boy was still alive? Do you think the father and the son did a great performance? Please leave your comment. And if you like this story or want to know more about Asian culture, please don't forget to subscribe for more new stories.